So I'm going to show you guys how easy it's going to be to make Gravlox, and you're going to be dying. I'm, I, I can't wait. Yellowtail Gravlox. I'm going to create these Gravlox, and the first thing I'm going to do is have Gravlox Yellowtail Bagels with cream cheese. I've got about a 30 pounder. I'm going to show you. I took the strips of loin starting from the head. Okay, here's the strip. This was on top of the head over here. So this is the most tenderest part of the yellowtail. And this is what we're going to use. I'm going to leave the skin on, but after I uh, salt cure it overnight, I'm going to take the skin off. So I'm going to have this and put it in there. And remember, I've got the left side and the right side. It'll fill up this Pyrex dish, and that's what we want, wall to wall coverage encasement. I've got two sheets going this way and then I've got one going lengthwise. So after we create our grab locks and encase everything in the salt, we're going to wrap the saran over it, put a couple bricks and put it in the refrigerator for, I'm thinking about 30, 36 hours. Now I usually make grab locks with salmon and I never go over 24 hours, but in this case, these yellowtail were very large. I've got about a 30 pounder. Yellowtail out here. Are we gonna sing the uh, yellowtail song on the way out there? Ay, 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 yellowtail. So what do you think I'm gonna get eaten by a shark because I'm in a yellow kayak? Yum, yum, yellow. You got a yum, yum, yellow jacket on. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not in the water. I'm gonna dump your ass in the water. <laughs> ay, 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 yellowtail. We will find you. Oh, here we go, Mama. Oh, Mama! Oh, yes. I see rack of yellowtail sitting on my barbecue. Oh, 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 oh. oh. None of that, huh? We got color. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. It wasn't pretty, but it happened. Yes, indeed. Two halves, one half here, the other half there. Let's go. And here's the other half of the yellowtail, the other side. One half here, and the other half there. All right, wow. Okay, let me go wash my hands and then we'll continue. All right, so I've left the skin on and I didn't put any salt on the bottom. Let me uh, go ahead and create our salt sugar mixture. I'm gonna go two parts salt, one part sugar, and I'm using a light brown sugar. So I'm gonna use a total of, I'm gonna create a total of two cups of my salt sugar mixture. Um, I may need that, I may not, I'm not sure. Okay. Looks like two thirds of that container is full of salt and now one third of it is going to get full of sugar. Okay. Perfect. 
Now to mix. So my salt sugar mixture is ready to go, but it's not gonna be the first thing that goes down. The first thing that's gonna go down is coarse black pepper. And a nice thick coat of it. I love the flavor of black pepper, especially on this salt cured fish. Always. All right, and then I'm gonna add lemon zest. Just lemon and fish go so well together and this lemon zest is packed with all the oils of the lemon. So they're really gonna bring out a lot of strong flavors. It looks like one lemon's gonna be plenty here. Wow. Get a little uh, zester, these are great little tools. Wow, so we've got coarse black pepper, we've got lemon zest. God, this food just looks so good. Look at that. Man, oh man, look at that. Anyway, okay. And now for the salt sugar mixture. And I want to get this in every nook and cranny. I want to surround this fish with all this salt and sugar. And if I need to make some more, I will. Looks like it's gonna do it. Looks like I got good coverage. Okay, that's gonna be plenty. Wow. Okay, and now for the final item. Both the Swedes and the Greeks love dill, so we should love dill here in California as well. Wow. <laughs> See how simple this is? I mean, this is just incredible. Now this is gonna go in the refrigerator from anywhere from 30 to 36 hours. I'll keep an eye on it. And it should just be awesome. Okay, so now the saran wrap. Make a nice little tight bundle. Flop over the edges. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. I'm telling you guys, cooking is just so much fun. And it's so easy. And this is gonna taste so good. Alright, wow, look at that. Okay, see this nice little bundle here, this packet? Look at this. See this? This is what we want right here. A bundle, a packet. And now we're gonna lay bricks on top of this because that's what you do. And of course the bricks are gonna provide pressure and gonna make the interaction between the flesh of the meat and the salt happen a little quicker. And of course the whole purpose of the salt and the sugar is to extract all that moisture out of the fish and intensify the flavors. And so we're gonna be left with all that yummy, fatty, yellowtail goodness in a concentrated form and we're gonna cut it up into nice thin slivers and put it on our toast, put it on our bagels, eat it raw. I mean, I've got three bricks that are wrapped in tin foil. And that's it. Wow. Okay. I'm taking this to the refrigerator and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we unwrap this. All right, gang. It's time to check on our, oh God. It's time to check on our yellowtail grab locks. Look at that, wow. Whoa, holy moly, look at that. All right, let's take this over to the sink, clean it up, take some out. 
can't, I just can't believe it's done. Oh my God. And I've got some pepper stuck to the surface. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skin it. Right there, I'm gonna shave off a couple pieces here. Wow, it's just, it looks just like bacon. Oh my goodness, yellowtail bacon. Oh, well, I can't take it anymore. It's time to make a sandwich. Now I'm gonna get some red onions on here. I've been waiting 30 hours for this. And then again tomorrow morning, believe me, for breakfast. Take a look at that, boys. Take a look at that. Oh my God. Oh man. Wow. It's rich, it's creamy, it's fatty. Southern California Yellowtail Groblox. You saw it here first on Fisherman's Belly. Go out and tell the world, wow.